MSK or musculoskeletal ultrasound, let's take it piece by piece, MSK or musculoskeletal, we'll be looking at or trying to look at things that are, you know, inside our body and they are in domain with muscles, tendons, ligaments, right? Some amount of bone structures we're also trying to, um, you know, see, but not so much. Ultrasounds, we're looking at diagnostic ultrasounds here. As we know that there are two types, especially in PT domain, we look at those therapeutic ultrasounds that we have been using since decades. This is a bit different. The beams, which are high frequency, um, you know, energy beams or sound beams, they pass through the system of your body and basically bounce off structures in your body, come back and the probe or the transducer picks them up and creates an image through a computer system. Mm -hmm. And that is what we're trying to look at, you know, from a diagnostic ultrasound. And uh, that's primarily what it is. People mostly know it as, you know, being used extensively in gynecological setups, you know, to watch the baby. And that's one joke that we kind of look at in the clinic. It's like anytime we pull out the, pro the probe and they're like, hope you don't find a baby in my knee. So yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's mostly, I mean, what diagnostic ultrasound would be here. So when you're looking at an ultrasound, you're, what can you see, so to speak? Because x-rays, you can see bones, MRIs, soft tissue. What are you looking at with, through the ultrasound? Right. So uh, x-rays, MRIs, CTs, more commonly are being used. With sonograms, uh, we're trying to, again, find soft tissue abnormalities, primarily, again, as I say. There are some cases where bones are seen and are also commented on, uh, not not all of them, but again, I would say as an exception, normally we would see, and this is something that I really like to examine as well, bones in terms of rib fractures. That's where you can really, you know, find those and can put them in perspective and say, yeah, you got a rib fracture. I know that even if it doesn't show up on an x-ray, so ultrasounds are more sensitive to it. But apart from that, you're mostly looking, I would say 99% of the times you try to look at tendons, ligaments, muscles, um, you know, cartilaginous structures, and labrums, those are the structures that we want to look at uh, in, in the entirety when you're going through an ultrasound report.